What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last time, we continue to develop our bonds and social links as the deadline is now upon us. Thankfully, we took down Shadow Yukiko at the very first opportunity we had, so not really much to worry about. In this episode, there's not really a whole lot to do except head over to our room and progress the plot. Hi, Yukiko. Oh, good morning. Morning. Um, yes. I'm better now. I'll be coming to school again, so that that'll be nice. <laughs> I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No, sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is thank you. <laughs> well, you're very welcome. You're our friend, Yukiko. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. I... Still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Hey, that's only one part of you. Maybe an aspect you not, may not want to show other people, but there's a lot more to you than what your shadow showed us. I'd like to believe that. It's Chie. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right. See you in class. Wow. It's nice to see Yukiko is back to normal. Better get to school, though. Wait, what? Greatest canyon in the solar system? Uh, that would be Valis Marineris on Mars. Uh, one day humanity will be able to climb those steep canyons and tall mountains. Most definitely will not be in anyone's current lifetime though. <laughs> but one day! <laughs> The fourth and the fifth. 
Mm -hmm. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. <gasps> really? Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always cancelled. Um, not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Sure. I don't have any plans for Golden Week. Yeah, well, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. <laughs> well, like it or not, I guess I'm going. Let's bring boxed lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Huh? Yay! Box lunches! Box lunches? Oh, boy. Well, can't let Nanako down now, can I? Oh, boy. Alright, so since we ate other people's food and then went into the TV world, Yukiko now is officially part of the party. Uh, I can also go ahead and just give her... I guess I can get, just give her the Kevlar vest. Since the combat dress isn't going to really help her out too much. And yeah, I thought I had a fire vow. Uh, shouldn't have anything in terms of weapons for her, but that's still fine. Uh, nothing really much else for us to do. Um... Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think there's actually anything I can do. I don't have any jobs that I can do right now. Uh, mm, I guess I could at the very least make a little bit of money. Um, let's do... I think the origami was the... Volunteer. Let's translate. I really don't have anything I can do, and I can't head out because Dojima's here. Written for a child. Mm. Why don't we properly translate? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it can be understood. And now it's Sunday. Well, that is certainly an option. Unfortunately, Tanaka's isn't. Now, so watch other things besides Persona 4 Golden. You can do a bunch of other stuff on the channel thing. For the TV overlay button, which I'm not entirely sure what that is on the Switch. Available when you have free time, such as after school and at night. Pressing TV over will over. We'll open the sync data menu. You can change the settings so that the button appears whenever a new show is available. So this is just optional stuff that's just extra side content. Doesn't really affect anything. It's just extra stuff that they added for Golden just for kind of fluff. I never actually delved into this stuff. Now is it the minus button? No, it's not the minus button. Uh, plus. It's the plus button that does that. Uh, touch the settings and the right to view TV listings. It can't be seen without quitting Golden. 
Uh, our summer vacation is now available. <laughs> Daily Persona Motions. Uh, okay, so I mean, it's a really weird way that they go about this. So there's TV listings. Um, I guess, let's see, wanna know about your specific characters. So that one looks like to be more concept art. Um, Yasso Vision. Songs you know, songs you love, you're too busy playing the game. So that's a jukebox. Jack Tunes. Can't really do anything more with that. A lot of Edogawa stuff. Uh, quiz. So yeah, so there's a bunch of different uh, side things that you can be involved with. I don't really have much... I don't really have much of a desire to really show any of that stuff off, if I'm being completely honest. Alright, and we don't really have anything else that we can really do here, so... Go ahead and head on out for the day. Uh, let's see... What exactly can we do today? Well, I think the first thing we should probably do would be to head back to the bug catcher. First of all, is anyone- Marie's available, at the very least. Okay, so we at least have someone we can hang out with. Uh, I'm... Chi... Well, wait, Chie's right here. Come on. Nah, Chie just wants to go inside the TV. Uh, not today. Okay. So, Chie is not available, but at least Marie is. Which I'm not sure if I... Do I have an Aeon Persona? I don't think I do. Emperor, Justice, Strength, Magician, Chariot, Devil, Sun. No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to head on into the Velvet Room for that. Well, at least I have some spare taps. Okay, so that's at least a little bit more with that. I wonder if we'll actually get his thing soon. Uh, not really a whole lot else around here. Out of curiosity's sake, uh, is Yosuke available? Yosuke is not available, so the only person we can hang out with is Marie. Uh, so that isn't too big of a deal. I didn't mark down any quests that were available. Doesn't look like there's anything available to us at the moment. Just want to double check to make sure I'm not- Oh! Looks like I spoke too soon. Sure. Sure, I can find you some of that. Alright, so now we got the Mori Ron Maru. Ah, uh, we're gonna just wait until we head into the TV world next before doing that. Uh, but at the very least... Pretty much done. Um, if we do head on into the Velvet Room, Marie, I don't think will be available outside. But we'll still be able to hang out with her, uh, by talking to her in the Velvet Room. So that's at the very least nice that we're not locked out of doing Marie's social link. Assuming that we need to head into the Velvet Room. Which in this case, I very much would like to, because I would very much like to have a persona. And normally... There isn't really much that you can do. I think today would be just a time to raise up stats. 
But instead, we're going to buy Amino Uzume. Who I believe is a brand new Persona 2 Golden. Um, I know that there's two separate Arcanas to represent the two brand new social links. Aeon and Jester. So, some Personas were recategorized to be Aeon, like, I believe Rajanaga? I don't know if Rajanaga was in the original one. I know Gur was. And Pale Rider. Um, so, some Personas were just simply reclassified to different Arcana. And then you have some brand new Personas, like, say, Kushinada. <laughs> So, again, nice little contrast there. Um, we'll go ahead and go to check on Dwellers because that's how we huh? can actually uh, progress through Marie's social link if we head into the Velvet Room. So, today we're just going to be doing that. Let's go. Oh, Juness? Well, okay, that seems easy enough. Let's go. Oh, salad dressing. Um, it's something that you put on salads, which are a type of food. Not as good as the steak croquettes we had with Yosuke the other day. Eh, not really, but some people can. They are really serious about their sales, let's put it that way. Hey, Chie. Oh, uh, this is an acquaintance of mine. Now, it didn't actually matter how you responded that, or actually any of the responses for this rank up. Whatever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you even watch TV in the Velvet Room? Why? Kinda hard to watch your show if you don't have a TV. Well, you need to have power connected to it. 
as well as having some sort of signal that it can receive. And then you can either physically change channels on the TV monitor or use a remote. Huh? That's right. Really? Uh, uh, close enough. It's best not to tell Chie about the Velvet Room. <laughs> had the steak here in a while. Gee, it was just yesterday. Stay out of this one. than just watching TVs. Saying you don't remember being a kid? So, Marie isn't even your name? Oh. I'm sorry, Marie. I didn't realize. I must have been rough to be by yourself for so long. If 
you say so. I know you say you don't remember anything, but do you think maybe you in the past lived in Inaba? Necessarily say it's nothing. It shows that you at least had a past. Even if you don't remember it, it's at least a clue. A mystery within a mystery. So Marie's past is unknown even to her, and her only clue is an old bamboo comb. I know we're more preoccupied with the current case, but it might not be bad to maybe try to do this while, well, if we have some extra time. Find out what exactly is happening here. The Midnight Channel, Fog, and the TV world. What? How stupid. Kind of you, Chie, but that wasn't why everything was so heavy. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. Okay, well, there's not really a whole lot for us to do right at the moment. Um, still not really anything. I'm going through all the wrong things. Still not really anything we really can do. Unfortunately, and maybe see if there's anyone that's out and about that we can hang out with. Or perhaps. Do we have any jobs available now? No. Unfortunately, not. Yeah, unfortunately, still no new jobs, and it doesn't look like there's anyone out and about. Unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, there's not really a whole lot we can do. Um, hmm. Oh, I guess we can show off the praying one. Oh, I want to go to the relationship fortunes, not the praying one. Whoops. Yes, I have! Hmm? Oh boy, a revival bead. Oh, that... How did that not use up time? Okay. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a wash. Oh, there's no fortune. 
Mmm, the fox isn't here yet. Okay. I was hoping to try to do the relationship one and just try to put some extra points into Marie. I guess there's not really anything we can do at the moment. <laughs> All right, our, okay, we'll we'll just make some. We'll just translate. We'll just keep translating. We'll make some more money. Earn us some more f money. Five thousand yen's really good. <laughs> Morning, Yukiko. Yeah, I'm going on a family outing. Yeah, only making the box lunches. Maybe. like having max academics this early does allow us to get a few extra bonuses since Dojima gives us money based on how well we do and Nanako gives us an item that even applies to the first midterm so even though it's technically impossible to get that on the very first midterm since you're nowhere near max academics there is an item that you can get from Nanako this early on so it'll be nice to show that. Okay, now that classes have ended, there's not really a whole lot we can do, but there are a few quests that we can do. And this one's a classic. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, like I said, a lot of the earlier quests are going to be repeats of what they are in uh, the original. I mean, after all, there's only 19 new quests. Uh, so trying to get, like, 
if you're familiar with the original game, a lot of this is going to be very repetitive and stuff you've already seen before, but I still think it's worth... Ah, crap, Yumi's not available. Oh, that's right, because it's midterms, right? Hey. Yeah, crap. Ah, well, that stinks. Yeah, sure, whatever, buddy. See what I can find. This guy's weird. Anyway, I actually do want to test something that I've never actually tried before. But I know is an option because you can at least give the timid girl the demon statue. And I kind of want to see what happens, as well as potentially giving the occult club guy uh, the angel one, if that's even an option you can do. Uh, <laughs> I very much like to see what exactly happens. And like, I'll even just save and reload just in case I lose the stuff too. Uh, let's see, were there any other, yes, I thought there were a few more quests. Sure. Sure, I'll look around in the TV. All right, another quest. Now there should be one more. Does the homely girl have a quest? No, homely girl does not have a quest. Um. I feel like I'm miss. Whoops. I feel like I'm missing. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. Three. Okay. That might be enough. I may be worth checking out in town when it's not raining. Uh, in the meantime, there's really not a whole lot we can do. Uh, books aren't there. May 6th is when we get new books, though. 
And also, because I very much need this, let's get some more tap. I bought an orange smash just in case the kid wants any in the future. Uh, but in the meantime, I don't believe there's anything else we can do. I'm gonna check the velvet room real quick to see if it'll tell me if Marie can be, uh, oh. Welcome to the velvet room. Uh, where's Marie? I thought she was only supposed to leave with me. Oh. Well. I guess that makes sense. I think. But, what kind of errand would you need a center on? Well, if you say so. is this oh you don't know so this is Marie's huh what would Marie drop hmm or something on it Just noticed it now. I see. I didn't get a chance to read it, Marie, even if I wanted to. Why would she hide that? That's that's not how hypnotism works. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. That was really weird. What could be on just a piece of paper that she's so afraid of? All right, well, there wasn't really a whole lot. I suppose we could just check. Huh? Can't leave right now. Existence is wavering. Ah, uh, wait, social incompletion. Eh, doesn't exactly help. Okay, so there's not exactly anything. Yeah, we can't actually check. That's a little bit unfortunate. I thought maybe we could check in on, like, whether or not we'd actually be able to rank up with Marie via the Velvet Room. But I guess we don't have that option, which is a little bit unfortunate. Well, there's only one thing left for us to do. And that's to take on the Mega Beefball Challenge! Thankfully, doesn't use up money, and we do still need to do this. Even though it may not necessarily seem important, if you're going for all the books, remember that there is a book for taking on the Mega Beef Bowl Challenge X amount of times. So we do still need to do this. Even if it doesn't actually give us any additional benefits, it does lead to a book. 
course, we gotta go through the meat dimension. And thankfully, we don't spend any money. In the rain? I really do wish that Ika actually just made, at the very least, sorry for the rustle, that's just my notebook. I really do wish that they added Ika to the game itself. Just, the Persona 4 anime is so good. At least the original one is. And Ika, <laughs> Ika scenes are all great. She doesn't show up often, but anytime it does, it's just a great comedic scenes that she's in. Christmas is cancelled. I mean, Golden Week is cancelled. Unfortunately, there are tests. Uh, so we're pretty much good. Um, you know what? I think we're good to call it a day here. I know that there wasn't too much accomplished, but Marie's social links tend to be very long. Like, Marie's social links specifically are a lot longer than your standard social links. So when they do show up, each rank up is going to take up pretty much the majority of the time of the episode. So we're going to call it here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. We are... Just a nice change of scenery. Um, we do have the Golden Week cutscenes to get through, which, you know, We'll still show off that does introduce Nanako's social link. And we should... We should be able to, at the very least, start the next story beat with Kanji soon. I think that starts pretty much right after everything with Golden Week. Um, so it shouldn't be too much longer before we get to the next story beat. And once we kind of get everything going on, hopefully we'll head into the... Or, not Velvet Room. The TV world sooner rather than later. Um, let me go ahead and check my notes to see when the first... Uh, okay, it's not gonna be a while until we actually get access to the fox costume. That's assuming that we'll even be able to get it. Just because I believe they get unlocked in order, and I already got one of Chie's. So I think it goes Chie, then Kanji, then... It's Teddy, and then back to Chie. So I'm not sure if this would actually be able to give us the costume, since we wouldn't have Kanji in our party. But we'll give it a, we'll certainly give it a shot. <laughs> At the very least, it won't be for a little while before we actually head on into the TV world. At the very least. So we'll be spending a good amount of time not only going through exams, but also just going through as much social ink stuff as we can get. So, a lot more plot stuff before we head back into the TV world, but it's all going to be important stuff nonetheless. So until next time, everyone, take care.